Hello, my friends, family, esteemed colleagues. Uh, today we are going to talk about the AI, artificial intelligence. So maybe you have heard about it from our very smart vice president. We articulated is AI is kind of a fancy thing. It's first of all, it's two letters. It means artificial intelligence, but Ultimately, what it is, is it's about machine learning. And so the machine is taught. And part of the issue here is what information is going into the machine that will then determine, and, and we can predict then, if we think about what, machine, what information is going in, what then will be produced in terms of decisions and opinions um, that may be made through that process. Okay, so now you, you heard very smart answer of our smartest vice president, president of the United States, Mrs. Kamala Harris. So let's get some substance to this. What is intelligence at all? what we call intelligence. You can have sophisticated machines like sophisticated, sophisticated computers that can provide you with huge amount of information. But every information you get from the computer is, has to be placed into it first. Like our vice president said, what you put into it depends what you get out of it. Well, what is computer? Computer is a machine that you can load with some programs in it. And depending on the program, you can then have on a screen result of its calculation between the information it is put into it, run through the programs. So you can have a cheap computer with a small memory capacity that can maybe load three, four programs, which limits you. So if one of the programs was not the one with the sound, you don't get any sound out of it. If it is one that is without a movie program in it, you don't get any movies from it. No matter if you even take it from the internet, you cannot manifest it on your screen because you don't have adequate program to run it, which means you have to also download the program. Now, is even the most sophisticated computer intelligent? Well, what do you base the intelligence on? We think that intelligent is the one that spits out more information. Well, look at our doctors. They're loaded with information. How many of those people are intelligent? Now, where intelligence comes from? It comes from consciousness. Solving problems. Well, you can solve problem if you have information. If you don't have inf information, you cannot solve problem. How do you get information? Well, again, it has to be given to you. Intelligent just means that 
you don't get hooked up on one program. You are intelligent enough to maybe revalue, ask for second, third, fourth opinion, check different programs and see what kind of answers your needs the most. You are intelligent by doing this. If you are not intelligent, you are not going to search further. You stick to one thing and you say, this is it. I only trust what comes from this. Because to me, this talk, this is it. Well, this is not making you intelligent. This is making you a follower. And I always say, always take what you need from one when you got what you need and you don't see that the rest is serving you, go and search for other information that is going to fulfill your needs better. Now, we are still twinkling here with this word intelligence and artificial intelligence. So we think that, okay, we are humans, we are living beings, so we are intelligent because we can search, we can decide what we want to see, we decide whom we trust and who we don't trust. And robots cannot do this. Robots will do what you tell them to do. Well, some computers are becoming so sophisticated that they themselves run through the programs to find the best solution. Same as we do. So we have a computer that has a memory pack. You load it with some programs which gives you independence. You don't have to be connected to internet and you can execute many things of your interest that you are doing because you have programs in there. You have information that you need stored in there. If some information is missing, what you got to do is connect with the internet to search for the information. If it exists, most likely you will find it on the internet, which is where all the information is. Well, what is this body of ours? More and more I am explaining the bio biology and the reality through the quantum field projection, through physics, not through chemistry, because this is closer to the truth. When we are born in a small brain, we have running programs inserted. Consciousness, fear, protective programs. What we'll need to get us going. And once when we start living, then from our parents and society, we load other programs that introduce us to information which is not loaded, basic information in our brain. But this new information become our running programs added to the already existing programs. So we go to school, to indoctrination center. They load us with other programs, let's say medical program. Now you understand how the body works, how medicine works, and now you go and you apply medicines to solve the health issues. But you are not aware that the programs were wrong. And whatever you are doing, it's a wrong thing to do. Because science was invented to misguide us. Science is inverted science. So your preliminary results of some experiment is a science. 
something happened you didn't expect. Instead of now searching, how does this work? Why did you didn't expect it? What happened there? We are looking into how to monetize it. So how to use it to misguide people. And the result of this is the final study of science. Scientific final study. Which then is drilled into brain of students. And if it's something important because it can fool many people, then more emphasis is pushed there. So you got Nobel Prize. Wow, it's job. this is very important information. Okay. Louis Pasteur, germ theory. Wow, important information. Pow. Why? Because it is the most beneficial, but not to people. Most beneficial to those that control us because they can they, they can militarize it. And this is what they did. So medical science became science of medicine. Because sinful things are being done to people, putting them in pain, making them chronically ill, debilitated, all for sake of money and control. And it's done through science. Everything the doctor does is wrong. Every single thing. So, again, where is the intelligence? Where is the artificial intelligence? Well, I am pointing that the creation comes with original programs of self-preservation and then we are loaded with other programs which should explain to us this reality of ours better. But to have deep experience of what has been created in quantum field by consciousness, we are not allowed to change it in a way to interfere with the outcome. Because then you can have full experience of it. If you would be connected directly to the source, directly to the consciousness, you will understand that you are in this game to experience this. And now you are in a fast car which you love. And now you know you are going to have accident. And as you are getting into accident and first pain occurs, you said, screw this, I'm not going through this pain, and pew, and you change your reality. So you don't experience now how is it to lose the arm, being in pain, bleeding, getting, you know, falling out of consciousness, freezing, being cold by loss of blood, and having all these feelings, emotions while your life is trying to be saved, you will miss all of this. Well, this is why we are not loaded. We, are, we don't have direct link to the consciousness. We have part of it just to make us aware of our physicality and the so-called reality of ours, the program, but we are not aware, consciously, to where the program is created. Where are you in a program now? What is going to happen after? What happened before? Only what you can remember. And you remember very small. Your capacity of memory is relatively small. And the memory pack is not brain. Brain is a processor. The memory, memorizing the frequency, those are imprint of frequencies, your experiences. And they are everywhere in your energetic field because you are energy. Not only in your cells, in your 
tissue, in your organs, in your blood, but in your aura. This is your electromagnetic field. This is what radiates from you. This is all loaded with information. And to be aware of it, you have to recall it. Back into the processor and process it. You have to open the program, search for information, and now read about it or play the video and check into it. Once when you start understanding that there is really no difference between sophisticated computer and your mind, you start realizing that artificial intelligence is you. You are not the consciousness. You are fractured of the consciousness, disconnected from the conscious field. So you have your experiences without possibility of instant change. You can manipulate them, you have a carte blanche, you can create, but not an instant. So you have to go through things and then you can connect and you can visualize and you can manufacture your new experiences, bring them into your reality, which we call manifestation or law of attraction. You are not attracted. You are not attracting. You are creating. You are the creator, but without consciousness with limited consciousness, that is your ego, consciousness of your physicality, that should be connected with your heart and communicated, communicating with the consciousness. What happens is that since we are misguided from the get-go, from the time you open your eyes, you are being smacked, put in a pain to disconnect you from the conscious field, to make you more self-aware. Doctors are trained to smack the child. Well, you immediately create a shock. You are disconnecting right away the child from the conscious field. You are making it more self-conscious. And it continues through the life. They get you when you are young. When you are still connected with the conscious field. Because you are supposed to grab information from the conscious field, process it, and learn about this. Partially from surrounding. But whenever it's something that needs explanation, Instead of listening to someone else explaining it to you, you should connect directly to the source and get the information because you get the truth. But then we are told, no, 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 don't listen to your voices. That's devil talking. What you hear is devil talking. Listen to us. Yeah. Listen to those schmucks with those funny robes that parade with some crosses and shits around them. They're all misguiding you. None of that what they say is true. Same is with the school. Same is with your teacher. Your professor know deadly squat. They only know what they have been told to read to you to memorize. So you memorize the same crap. And then this is manipulated and more and more misguided. So now, the students in the school think that, uh, yeah, you take some pills and you cut your dick off and you become woman. Natural. That's how robotic we are. We are freaking robots. Try to understand. Body is not intelligent. If it is intelligent, and if Wasp 
bites your deep, deep uh, inner throat. The body is programmed to immediately attack the venom and to go with the cleansing process. It calls for, for inflammation. It will inflame, stop you from breathing, and you die. Well, if the body is so intelligent, why does it allow to kill itself? Because it's not intelligent. It's just responding to programs, following the programs. There is no intelligence here. Intelligence comes from consciousness, which tells you, look around, compare, learn. But then school goes with indoctrination. Don't look over there. I'll tell you, this is how it is. Memorize and spit it on demand. And now you know, now you're expert. Don't drink salty water. It is going to accumulate liquid in you and increase your blood pressure and then destroy your kidneys. But when you're in a bad shape, they stick you with a needle and put salt water into your blood. Call it saline infusion because they know it's going to heal you it's going to cleanse you so in certain situations this is good when they do it when you pay for it but if you do it by drinking it the same, same damn thing no it's bad thing you know you're gonna kill yourself how many people are intelligent enough to see the scan Not too many. Well, is Kamala's explanation of artificial intelligence productive? Is it any good? Is it correct? It's a bullshit. And we are trained to accept bullshit and react, react like a shitheads. And say, I, I know, I heard it. I know everything. I, you, you don't know what you're talking about. As we disconnect, as we start putting more attention to our physicality, to our cravings, to our desires, we are disconnecting ourselves from the source. Because source says, learn, advance. You are here for experiences. More experiences you go through, the more you learn. But we go, yeah, I experience, I love money. I have a car, and now I have 15 cars. <laughs> what do you have? You, a motorcycle. You're a shithead. Look, I got Bugatti, Maserati, Lamborghini. What do you got? Uh, KTM? Hmm? Yeah, but I experienced. I was veterinarian. I was designer. I was contractor. I was an entertainer, playing guitar and singing. I was martial artist, competed in kickboxing. I'm captain of, of a boat, did charters. I was taking experiences everywhere. I was shifting. I, I was not sitting still more than two years in one, not one job, one, uh, one, uh, one business. I was changing jobs, changing businesses. From a doctor of veterinary medicine to a furniture salesman in Brooklyn, to interior designer in New Jersey and Manhattan, to boutique owner of ladies, clothes, 
in West Village, uh, Manhattan, New York, New York City. At one point, I had three companies, lived on a yacht. My father said, oh, you know, now open another store, another store, money, money. No, I opened two stores, and I said, no, this, this is not for me. I got my experience. I'm out of here. Now, yes, I don't have money, but I'm loaded with experiences which help me now understand the world in completely different light. Finally, I ended up in a jungle, living, you know, in the shorts, and sarang, actually. I love to wear sarang, although outside I cannot go with it because they think I am a queer. <clears throat> so now I wear it only in, on my property. But... Every experience helps you to excel. And this is what brought me into doing ayahuasca, continuing learning through experience, because ayahuasca is experience. Ayahuasca is not reading or some uh, trip. It is actually learning experience through experiencing it in conscious state. You're actually conscious, completely conscious during ayahuasca ceremony. There is nothing like it I ever experienced. If it's done correctly. Because everything becomes prostituted and so do ayahuasca ceremonies. Ayahuasca given somewhere in uh, Texas or somewhere, somewhere in, uh, in, in uh, Canada or uh, Sweden it's a completely different experience than doing ayahuasca in a jungle with a real ayahuasquero, with shaman, consciously connected personality, being it woman or man. In my cases, my experiences, women are better at it. That actually can help you through this, guide you help to clean you because you will be doing a lot of work it's not easy stuff sometimes it's quite heavy but you experience so all this led me to realization of what is this reality and who we actually are can i prove any of it well what would it take to prove anything when all the studies that people trust are fake. I can make a study. But why? I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm just talking about my experiences and guiding whoever wants to be illuminated. Especially now, this is very important because what is happening that through millennia, I'm not talking about only human race, other races, before we are the most sophisticated creation, we are the latest creation, and we have the information of the whole creation in every cell in our body, our genetic makeup contains all the information. Now, why is this so important? And how come that we are so sophisticated and we have to walk, we have to have motorcycle or car to go a little bit faster, we need plane to fly, when there are other so-called less sophisticated extraterrestrial beings that have much faster vehicles, they can teleport, they can just manifest themselves, they can shape-shift, we can do nothing of it. Well, we cannot do it because we have been hijacked and misinformed and misguided in believing that this is voodoo, this cannot be done. What you don't use, you lose. And most things we didn't even wake 
we didn't awaken our bodies. And the evil is controlling us. This artificial intelligence, which everything that exists is artificial intelligence. Everything. Because the only intelligence that is not artificial is consciousness. So, we are very sophisticated artificial intelligence. And people send me videos, look, they discovered now these little creatures that start growing inside of the cells of the body, and this comes from this and that and that. This is all part of the awakening process too, so we can see actually what is this thing that we think we are. How to battle this? It's a frequency. Get rid of the frequency. Brain can do it, but we don't know how to because we are not, we don't know how to use this thing, this Google that we have. And what is happening now? We are destroying everything that went wrong. Where, that, where did devil come from? Where does hell come from? The Google, the brain, the consciousness. But our ego consciousness, when it separates, it needs alliance. Something to believe in. Because it does not believe anymore on in itself. It believes in something outside of themselves. And they gave it name, Lucifer, light bearer. This is what brings light to them. Well, to us, this is what brings darkness. Disconnected people have to get connected back. If they don't get connected back, they are going to be discharged. Battles have been done before. The good always at the end, good always wins. But because it's good, it's forgiving. So as long as the bad repents, okay, don't do it anymore. Please be good now. Yeah, I will be good. And yes, beginning 1,000 years, is good, but then slowly starts by stealing neighbor's apple, then stealing neighbor's chicken, then stealing neighbor's sheep, sheep, then stealing neighbor's woman, then stealing neighbor's car, and then kill the neighbor and take everything. Progressively, it all comes back. The evil, the Mind wants more and more, wants domination, wants everything. And the good consciousness tolerates it as long as it's not in their face. But once when it goes into the face, finally the consciousness says, okay, now we got to stop this. Consciousness, good, always wins. Because only consciousness can actually manifest and create. So it is going to take down again the evil, only this time, to my understanding, we are taking out, we are dismantling the evil, layer by layer. I experienced this through several ayahuasca sections when I was part of those taking layers off and creating a new. We have to take these layers off so they cannot be assembled again. We have to clean ourselves first. How do you know that you are getting cleaner? 
once when you find pleasure in giving. And you can see now more and more videos of people giving gifts, giving money to poor people, but asking for some act of goodness. So you don't give money to someone that is going to abuse the money and abuses others. You give it to those who are humble and want to help others. Just look at YouTube videos. You will see more and more of this. You know that you are connecting back, back with your essence, with your heart, with your consciousness. As you are receiving pleasure by giving. We all love to receive. You know, somebody uh, gives me a gift of, uh, I don't know, my uh, KTM 1290. I will be thinking, thinking, oh, shit. But it will not make me cry. I'll be just very happy. But when I receive a letter of people saying how I changed their life because of them following my information and the families and they mention dramatic changes, I start crying. I've, it's completely different type of a happiness and satisfaction. We all have to go in this direction. Starting feeling happy by giving. And we'll shift very quickly. This shift is going to be very very difficult. Now the collapse is difficult. But it is nothing comparing to the shift that we are going to experience because we are going to be shifting into different creatures but being in conscious state through the shift. Can you imagine yourself looking at yourself changing? And every change is painful. The birth of a child is painful for the child and for the mother. This is going to be similar. Now, about the shift, I will talk some other time because otherwise we'll sit here for another couple hours. And we have to understand that the artificial intelligence is us. Until we go back into connection, and this is going to happen, we are going to change, our brain is going to change. It's going to, from bipolarity, it goes into singularity again. I've seen it in ayahuasca. So, we are going to change. Everything around us is going to change. But before this happens, we have to completely dismantle this hell we have created in paradise, which is planet Earth. This hell has to go. And it's being taken out. Majority of people are not aware of this. Some people are aware of certain things. But the whole system is falling apart. I'm trashing the medical and scientific system. Of course, it's very difficult to trust anything I say because it's, it doesn't fit in anywhere in the science or science that we are being told. It doesn't fit with allopathic medicine. It doesn't feel, fit with alternative medicine. It doesn't fit with supplement industry. It doesn't fit anywhere. Yeah, because truth is, doesn't fit with lies. It's a completely different thing. And our so-called reality is based on lies. We have to dismantle them. We have to get to the truth. 
to be able to conquer fear. And then we step into the quantum mentis. So now be careful. Don't take anything personally. Uh, it's easier to say than done, but for some people. Stop watching news. Not only the television, major media, but anything that has a negative tone to it. Don't watch it. Don't zero on negativity. Zero on positivity. I'm asked so many times, why don't you talk more about more gallons? Why don't you talk more about cancer? Why don't you talk more about uh, these uh, jabs and this stuff? There is no need to scare people. We have to do the opposite. Install confidence. Remember, the reality is manifestation. What you think you know, and you think about it, you are creating the images, or you are receiving the images that scare you, that are not agreeable with you. They will help you to manifest them. Don't go there. Avoid paying attention to these things. Think positive in every way. We have to peel away from this negativity. This is our job now. So, just focus on positive things. I never discuss problem if I don't show or present solution. Which makes the problem unimportant or non-existent. I will never discuss something that I don't have solution for. Or I don't understand, so I cannot bring solution. I don't want to contribute to the fear. I want this fear to go away. Thank you for listening. Until next time. But don't be afraid. Everything is going great. Everything is done perfectly. New system is set up for us. You don't need food for one month, two months, three months. You don't need gas for five months or whatever. I bought a gas a couple years ago. Now I can all throw it away because it doesn't work anymore. It's old. Because again, I was kind of trusting because I know what's coming. I just don't know when. But if we go in this... Uh, following, we continue procrastinating this. Just drop it. Yeah, I have a reserve food for one week for my animals and myself. Stuff is going to happen. So I have an emergency. But I'm not losing sleep over it. I don't promote it. I don't even think in that direction. Because I don't want it to become manifested for me. So think positive. Think that your bank account is loaded with money. Or even think better, forget about banks, wallet. That you have electronic wallet filled with money on your disposal. Think in that way. And think how to help others. Contribute, help. If this doesn't make you feel good, then you're not on the right track. You need to do some more soul searching. Thank you. Till next time. God bless you. Love you all. Namaste.